Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Welcome back to the channel. I'm at the farm again. I just got across here this morning. It's just after lunch, so a pretty good drive over. It's a beautiful day. It's about 24 degrees, um, light winds, magnificent autumn weather. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty good this week. Now, I'm going to have a bit of a walk around first and work out what the plan of attack is for this week. Uh, we do have some people coming to pick up some machinery and I do want to take a heap of photos of various things around the place and try and sell them on Facebook Marketplace. So today I'm going to get a lot of photos. I'll just have a wander around first and work out my plan. For those of you who haven't seen my channel before, because I've had a few new people join lately, so welcome. Uh, this is part of an ongoing series of cleaning up my parents' farm. We have been selling a lot of old machinery via eBay and via Facebook Marketplace. Uh, Mum and Dad are still living on the farm here. This is where I grew up and uh, they've sold the property to the neighbour, to Ross, and he's been doing a lot of improvements already and Mum and Dad are allowed to stay here as long as they can and in the meantime, I'm helping sell off a lot of stuff just to clean the place up. So a lot of this fencing wire was sold previously. These things are waiting to be picked up. All this poly pipe I'm actually going to put back on Facebook Marketplace just for free. I did try it, I think, at $20. We had no takers. I'd rather give it away than throw it out. And that's the ultimate plan of the ultimate recycler, is to repurpose, to give away, to sell for scrap, or to repair and reuse anything at all except going to landfill. Uh, these sheets of galvanised iron I have sold. Um, we've cleaned up some of the other stuff here. There's some spare pellets. So we're starting to get organised. I'll have a look in the barn and see what we're up to there. So we're pretty organised in the barn. There's a little bit of stuff uh, from Ross has been doing some electrical work around the place. So he's starting to put some of his things over here. Uh, there's some old timber that can be burnt and old cardboard boxes once the weather cools off a bit more. And there's a fair bit of uh, wool that has to be sold. So a little bit of stuff there to go. Those seats are being picked up hopefully this weekend or this week. And a little bit of sundry stuff I've just got to tidy up. Uh, we might wander down the machinery graveyard because I'm going to do some photos down there and we'll start looking at maybe which shed we can focus on next now that the barn's pretty much under control. Okay, in the machinery shed here we have, uh, there's a grain cleaner dad made up from the top of an old international harvester. Uh, it's all welded up on a frame there. We might try and see if we can sell that. I don't know if it's going to be worth much. Behind it is a a Sunshine HV McKay Reaper binder, which uh, is an early piece of equipment but has been used in more recent years to make sheaves from wheat stubble. Uh, that's possibly a collector's item, but I don't know if anyone's going to really want to buy it and use it these days. There's the old rod on mower here with the trailer. We'll leave them at this stage because they're still useful. This grain bin is one of the ones we sold recently on Facebook, and this truss here we sold. Uh, I think on eBay on the last batch. So the main tractor, the Chamberlain 4080B, we will probably be selling fairly soon because it doesn't really have any use here anymore. And the little Fergie tractor, Massey Ferguson 65, I think it is. The bonnet's off it at the moment. I'm not sure why the bonnet's off it. Uh, that still goes very well, so we'll probably sell that soon. Dad has hooked up this old roller mill, which he got many years ago from a, a local farmer. Uh, I don't know. I think he's used it. I'm not sure if he's used it or not. It's a pretty cool piece of equipment. It's a nice early one. I think it was possibly made in Ballarat. Nice timber work. It's been always shedded, so it's in pretty good condition. It's on a little bit of a homemade trailer here, which actually uses, I think Dad said these were Bren gun carrier wheels from World War II. Solid rubber, really solid cast iron wheels. So they're pretty cool in their own right. I don't think we'll sell the trailer with this roller mill. I think it can, well, it's on a kind of a timber sled. So I think it's just the trailer's handy for moving it around. But you can see those wheels. They're great old wheels. I'd like to take them back. Uh, so that's been moved because it was a little bit bogged in the back of the shed here. It's been quite wet and I think the, the thing just sunk into the mud. There's some old crop lifters in the corner. They're probably only scrap metal, old window frame various guards off machinery. Looks like an old water pump in there. Uh, the tubular sections, I believe, are legs from a table tennis table. They're only aluminium, so they'll just be scrap. So just a lot of sundry is not really worth very much at all. 
some of it will go straight to the scrap metal pile there's some more guards off probably a header little bits of wire just junky stuff that tractor tire actually goes with another tractor that's not here at the moment that's down on the saw bench uh, so we'll probably sell that one as well and some of these old doors will just go to a firewood pile so this shed shouldn't take very much to clean out there is a sylvan uh, sprayer here a 12 volt 12 volt sprayer we should be able to sell that pretty easily it definitely needs a wash up first though and the yard itself is changing dimensions Ross has been doing a lot of work here and the fence line used to go the other side of those trees and there was a bit of a, a stockyard here and a loading ramp last time I filmed and I haven't been back here for four weeks and the yard now has a new fence across here he's obviously rolled up some of this old wire that was around a, a chicken yard chicken pen uh, I try to stop myself from saying chooks because I know Australians are the only people I think that call them chooks uh, so chickens for all you other guys uh, the scrap area here has been consolidated a little bit uh, we were talking just before inside that we'll have to probably organize a skip bin from a local scrap company and we can start loading things in a bin I don't plan on taking steel to Melbourne from here it's just too far it's about four hours drive from here and I don't want to take it back to Ngambi and then have to double handle it and then take it to Melbourne so a lot of this will just be sold as scrap metal from here uh, all sorts of just general farm scrap I'll be taking anything back to the shop that I think is interesting any old wheels there's another set of old harrows in there which I have had success selling those harrow bars uh, but I think most of this pile is just general scrap metal lots of old agricultural bits I know that's that's part of an old binder which no one else would probably recognize there's parts of various machinery and lots of bolts and even lawnmower blades that are worn out so yeah I don't want to handle any of this I'm quite happy for a local scrappy to come and pick it all up and we'll take what we get so uh, this corner is basically I think we can call it organized because it's just a matter of a phone call and we say come and get it and pay us whatever the going rate is there's some gates here that I probably will take back to the shop I've had success selling gates um, perhaps not the first couple but the one at the back's quite okay and the batteries I'll probably take some batteries back because I can run them to Melbourne okay and I have a stack of batteries back at the shop as well so yeah it's really um this corner is really consolidated now there's a bed base table frame Ah, now over here there's a three-point linkage uh, set of forks to go on the back of the Fergie tractor so they're not scrap metal and somewhere else we have there's the three-point linkage carry-all that goes on the back of the tractor as well uh, don't know what the platform's like it used to have boards on it but it looks like it's got mesh on it now underneath some other mesh is just leaning against it but that's quite saleable so we can probably put that on Facebook as well and there's another little fuel tank under that tree over there we'll try and sell that as well okay let's go for a walk down the lane there's the combine we just sold on eBay so hopefully that's been picked up this week dad's been rounding up some panels here these was an old stock crate that went on the back of one of our old trucks so we're just going to assemble them together and try and sell those on local Facebook groups uh, I've also got some fence posts in there, some concrete fence posts. I might take that wheel back to the shop. And I've just put this culvert on Facebook for 50 bucks. So this area is starting to get really well cleaned up, actually. We remember we had the fuel tanks and the big old water tanks here. They've all gone. Uh, it's pretty much just the wood pile. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that grister. We'll sell it probably at some stage, but I don't know if Dad still needs it for for crushing some grain for something here's the other tractor i told you about it's a 1960s countryman countryman six chamberlain tractor i think uh, dad bought this brand new so that's what that other spare tire is for in the shed and it's actually on saw bench duties at the moment so we might have to fire up the saw bench now that we're uh, coming out of summer and going to be heading to some colder weather uh, let's go back down the lane here and i'll show you a few things i'm taking photos of as I scare the sheep off once again, it's very dry and dusty here at the moment. It's uh, 
Coming into autumn, we haven't had any decent rain for quite a while, and of course the sheep eat all the grass down to next to nothing, and then you end up with dust. And then you've got the crop stubbles, and you can see in the distance it's smoke on the horizon, so a few of the farmers are burning some of their stubbles off in preparation for cropping this year. Really nice day today, actually. Beautiful weather out. So there's not a lot of machinery left here either. We've sold quite a bit. Uh, there's a couple of stock crates here off trailers. We might try and move on. The baths there, the old cast iron baths will probably go for scrap metal. They're really not much good. I know people use them for water troughs, but the cast iron ones are so heavy to move. That old bin's badly rusted out. And these two have both been sold and will be picked up shortly. We've got another lot of fencing wire to try and sell. The last lot went really well. Uh, and there's a few things down the end I'll just take some photos of. I have just photographed this uh, hay feeder. It's a cattle hay feeder. It needs a bit of repair on the legs, but I think that's better value than scrap metal. The old wheels over the back there are the ones we've just sold. They're being picked up hopefully this week. Uh, there's actually, we're thinning out a lot of the stuff down here. The old binders, I've still got to take the wheels off a couple of them, but basically they'll be going for scrap. Unless anyone that watches my channel and lives close by would like one for their front yard as a, a bit of a decoration. Same with the old headers. I think they're only good for scrap metal. Uh, I mean, if I lived here, I'd probably pull a few parts off over time, but I don't have time to do that just visiting every so often. And they're certainly no longer usable as farm equipment. Uh, another old binder there. And these two harrows I will take back because I can sell those. And this old um, bulk grain bin off one of our very early trucks I've just put on Facebook for $50. I'm not sure if anyone's going to be interested. It might be a handy pet enclosure or um, maybe for vegetables or something. Who knows? I don't really care. If someone can use it, that's great. I'd rather it be used than scrapped. So we're gradually thinning this out quite a lot. Um, but we will certainly still have quite a bit of scrap metal to go when we get to that stage. Uh, certainly no rush at the moment, it's just nice to be able to thin things out and find new homes for, for things. Uh, and yeah, it's much better I think than scrapping it. But eventually the scrappy will get it and he'll clean it all up and uh, that will be the end of the story for the machinery graveyard. Good morning guys, it's just after eight. Uh, I'm up and about, I've had a couple of coffees, I'm rearing to go. Dad uh, dragged this old roller mill, which we looked at yesterday, out of the shed. And you can see it much better now. The belt's obviously a bit had it, but the timber work's all in beautiful condition. It still actually features a lot of its original uh, pinstripe paintwork. Uh, this would be very early 1900s, so the timber's all in really good condition. I believe it is operational, uh, and we'll probably put that on eBay, I think. I don't know how you would price something like this. Look at that. They really took pride in their um, creations back then. So it's a lovely piece. It probably should be in a museum somewhere. I don't think it has any local history as such. Uh, and I said yesterday, I thought it was made in Ballarat. I can't see a brand on it, but I think it was a Jazz Smith piece of equipment made in Ballarat. Uh, I think they made chaff cutters and all sorts of other early agricultural implements. So yeah, even the, the rails at the bottom here, I would imagine not many have survived in this condition because sitting in sheds, they would have rotted away. Uh, this one would probably clean up really well. Uh, anyway, we'll probably put it on eBay. I have no idea what to sell it for. We may start it at $500 and see what happens. So I'll take some photos of this before I go this week. And the little trailer with the military wheels, I'll have to work out what to do with those. I don't know if the wheels are actually on their original axle or whether it's just been fitted to something. I'll have to investigate there. Uh, so we've got a lot of people coming this morning. I actually ended up having a really productive day yesterday. I've got a lot of photos done. Uh, the concrete fence posts, I think, are being picked up this morning. There's a guy coming to get uh, the combine today. There's also other people coming to get other stuff. I can't remember now. I've got notepads everywhere, just panning around the yard. It's a beautiful morning again. Light winds, nice fresh air, uh, sort of an autumn morning. It's a great time of the year. And it was actually quite foggy earlier on, but uh, now it's really nice now. You can hear the trains on the railway track way down the distance there. One of those mornings where sound travels for absolutely miles. So 
beautiful. I'm going to miss this about the farm. Uh, and it's taken me a long time to get used to living in a town, whereas I grew up here and it's just, just you know, feel the tranquility, as they say. All right, I'll get on to my first few jobs this morning and uh, we'll probably film some people picking up some stuff. Although I think this video has gone on for a while because I've shown you guys around a bit, given that I've got a lot of new subscribers and you might like to have a look around where I grew up. So we might finish this video up shortly and then we'll pick up straight away at uh, with people picking up equipment for the next part but before we wind up things I'll let the chooks out and yes I'm going to call them chooks you'll have to get used to it all these guys are ready to come out for a, a day of grazing around the farmyard I'll open up dad's patented latch system and uh, they're eager to get out there you go, off you go And they love to graze around the farm hunting for bugs and getting some fresh grass, which all helps with the quality of the eggs. Yeah, they're not too keen yet. We've got one early riser. Here they go. Come on, guys. Whoops, that's all I can play with that. I've got to watch those royalty issues. Okay, have a great day fossicking, guys. Enjoy your bugs. Alrighty, we'll finish up this episode now. Thanks for watching episode 11. We'll be back very shortly with episode 12. We'll continue on. We've got more pickup to do. We've got more treasure hunting. Get some stuff in the van to take back to the shop. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.